Hello boys and girls, I'm teacher Regan. Once again, welcome to Easy Lean, where learning is simplified. So we are continuing with our substrand of factors. And in this session, we are going to discuss the least common multiple, abbreviated as LCM. So once again, this is something you did in your previous classes. This is not the first time you are coming across this. However, we are just going to go up through it once more. Uh, for the essence of its wide applicability. So, uh, under introduction, we can say that, under introduction, we can say that, under introduction, we can simply define an LCM. LCM refers, refers, to the least possible multiple possible multiple that is that is common to a set of two or more more numbers for example for example for example consider a set of numbers x, y, and z with x, y, and z consider with their first multiples being x times 1, which is x y times 1, which is y then z times 1, which is z, then the LCM of x, y, and z becomes, becomes x times y times z, which is equal to x, y, z. So, example, example, example. So, if you have a set of three numbers, say x, y, and z, and with their first multiples being 1, 1, in both cases, we are expressing x as a product of, you know, its first multiple by itself. So, which is 1, 1, 1, there, then their LCM will become the product of the three numbers. For example, find the LCM of find the LCM of um, four, eight, and six. So we can use the multiple method whereby we uh, highlight all the multiples of these three numbers. But because that method is limited to smaller numbers, because you can imagine whereby you are expected to get the LCM of a number like 360, 400, 120. Then starting to the possible multiples, multiples of such numbers might be cumbersome. For that reason, 
I encourage most of my students to stick to this method, method one. Method one, whereby we write the numbers horizontally, then we partition using the vertical lines. Eight. So we start with the least prime number that can divide any of them. If you are lucky to find that the least prime number divides both all of the three numbers, well and good. But with LCM, you can pick the least prime number so long as it can divide any of the numbers given. So here, 2 is equal to 2, 3, 4. So here our least prime number is still 2, 1, 3, 2. We still have 2, 2. If it can't go into this, we retain it. We retain 3, then it goes there, 1. Then we have 3, 3 doesn't divide 1, we retain 1, 3 into 3, 1, 3 cannot go into 1, we retain 1. So once it ends with 1, 1, 1, then there is no need of us continuing and our LCM, our LCM becomes 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, which is 2 raised to power 3 times 3. That is 8 times 3, then you'll get 24. So if you were to highlight or list all the possible multiples of 6, 4, and 8, then you realize that 24 is the list of the common multiples. For example, that takes us to method 2. Method 2. Method 2. Uh, we can start by listing uh, the multiples of 4. The first multiple of 4 class. 4, correct. The second multiple of 4, Jacqueline, 8, 4 by 2, 8, good. The third multiple, 12, 4 by 3, 4 by 4, 16, 4 by 5, 20, 4 by uh, 6, 24. Let's stop there. Then we can have 6, 6 by 1 is 6, by 2 is 12, by 3, 18, by, by 3 is 18, by 4 is 24, by 5 is 30. So we have 8, 8 by 1 is 8, by 2 is 16, by 3 is 24, by 4 is 32, etc. So you can see this method is quite cumbersome and it also takes a lot of time. That is, you can imagine if this number was not 4, but something like 120. Highlighting, you cannot know how many multiples you're supposed to highlight before you are able to pick out the least common multiple. So I encourage most of my learners to stick to this method whenever you are working out the LCM. So, from here, we are going to pick the common, common multiples, not common factors, please. Common multiples. So, our common multiples from this case, we have 4. 4 is not here. 8. 8 is not here. 16. 16 is here. Is not here. It's here. So, the only common factor that we have is 24. And since there is no any other common multiple, it's multiple, sorry, to compare 24 with, we assume that is the least common multiple, which is the LCM of uh, that set of numbers. Another example. Another example. What if someone gives you a question like, find the LCM, the LCM, Yeah, the LCM of uh, 12x squared, 12x squared, uh, 6, 6, uh, y, and, and, uh, 8. 12x squared, 6y, and 8. So our solution, 
do not let the variables that have been added discourage you you still go about it the same same way so we shall have our 12x squared we shall have our 6y we shall have our 8 here then we pick the first prime number that can go into any of the uh, numbers in the sets provided so here we shall start with 2 we shall start with 2 so 2 goes into 12x squared 6x squared that implies if you multiply 6x squared by 2 you get 12x squared 2 into 6y that is 3y 3 into 2 into 8 that is 4 we still have another number that can be divided by 2. So we have 2, 2 into 6x squared, that is 3x squared. It can't go into 3y, we retain it. It must go into it completely. But since there will be a remainder here, we retain it. 2 into 4, 2 times. We still have 2, 2 cannot divide this completely, so we retain it. We equally retain this. Are we together? Good. So 2 into 2, 1 times. So here, we have 3x squared and 3y squared. So 3 can go into both of them. So 3 goes into 3x squared, x squared. 3 goes into 3y, y. 3 cannot go into 1 completely, so we retain 1. So at this point, we have x squared. x into x squared, 1. x cannot go into y, we retain it. Here we have 1. Then finally, we have y. In y into 1, we retain 1. Y into y, 1. Y into 1 can't, so we retain it. Therefore, our LCM, our LCM, our LCM, Our LCM, our LCM becomes 2 by 2 by 2, that is 2 raised to power 3, then times 3, then times x squared, then times y. So 2 raised to power 3 is 8, so we shall have 8 times 3x squared times y, that is 3x squared y. So, we will multiply the coefficients. So, we have 8 times 3, that is 24, then x squared y. So, 24x squared y is the common multiple for all of this. Are we communicating? Good. So, take some questions. Some questions. Number one, solve the LCM of the following sets of numbers. Roman one can have nine, thirty six, and forty. Roman 2, we can have 8y squared, 12x, and 36. Roman 3, we can have 49, 7y, and 2. So kindly solve the LCM of those. So like I've said, do not let the variables that have been added discourage you. The concept still remains the same. Just go about it the same way. Plus many more other questions that, of course, you will come across during your personal revision. So allow me to, mark, to stop at that juncture uh, as far as LCM is concerned. So in our next session, when we meet, we shall discuss the applications of LCM and GCD. And you realize that they have a wide applicability. So thank you for your time. Uh, see you next time.